In the age of the Cold War, you are a secret agent of the KGB who just got an important mission to go to Chernobyl where the reactors have just broken down. You have to be fast and brave to achieve the objective of this mission. You will start in an area where you practice defense and movement techniques. Soon you will be capable of defeating your enemies and also face your fears. Over the course of the whole game, you can rely on your inventory systems provided with cutting edge items the KGB gave you. You will have to face your own fears and anxieties under the circumstances. Save the world, get the information you need, and be the most successful agent of Chernobyl. Are you one of those people that puts a plastic mask on your face and sees something that really isn't there? Well, you need to be in the sound with the rest of us. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get the latest VR news, product updates, and of course, gameplay with our five star straight jacket system. See you soon. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Paul from VR Asylum, and today we are checking out Chernobyl Agent. In this game, you are a KGB agent that has to figure out why the Chernobyl reactor has shut down. Doing this, you are going to have to do a bunch of puzzles and run through a bunch of enemies. Now, why don't we jump into the insanity that is Chernobyl agent. At the beginning of the game, you start in a train car with a tape, a tape cassette, and some instructions. Movement and camera. After you've got all your information from the tape, right. you must That's set off down the train and explore different rooms. Items. In the first room, you'll find a safe. Now, in most cases, this is pretty self-explanatory. Head on down the train to find some more information about the safe and how to open it. You will find three numbers hidden around the train that you must take back to the safe and try and open it. Once the safe is open, you find that the train derails and you wind up in a forested area in front of a table with instructions, a pill bottle, and a syringe. You first encounter a wolf walking in the distance, which will take three shots to take it down. You will encounter a few more wolves before you end up at a fence. Cutting those wires with your knife will get you through it. Once you are on the other side, you will be confronted by three soldiers. And this is where it starts to get buggy. Make sure the soldier is directly in front of you before you start shooting. There's no way you're gonna hit him from a distance. Either way, in this particular game, it's better to bring a knife to a gunfight than it is a gun. 
since it takes three bullets to kill the soldier and one swipe of your knife. So as you guys could see, I had a lot of issues with this game. So it was extremely buggy, the sound was terrible, and yes, I know they say put your headphones on, but my experience with the Oculus uh, Rift S headphones is excellent. For a VR game, $22 is quite expensive. You know, I mean, there's a lot of good, good games for $22 on the VR system. It's not, I'm not comparing it to Half-Life and I'm not comparing it to Stormland, but I am comparing it to those games that I played that are around the same price range. Now I understand that it's an early access game. I get that. But I played better access, uh, early access games for $5. That being said, I'm gonna give this a two out of five straight jackets and I'm only giving it two because I see potential this game, it almost got a one for me. I got so frustrated with this game. I couldn't even get through the game because it was so buggy. And yes, I think a lot of people are probably saying, well, what about your tracking system in your mask? That wasn't the issue because I checked it out with the other games that I played. So I did check it out. It was definitely buggy. Um, and like I said, if you can shoot somebody three times and, it, it, and not kill them, but slash them with a knife once, <laughs> they've got some stuff to work on. So make sure you guys uh, check out Wednesdays and Fridays because that's when we have our different reviews. We also check out products as well too, which we checked out this week, which was wristbands to prevent you from getting sick in VR. So if you have that issue, check out that video. This may help you. All right, thanks very much everybody for watching. We'll see you next time on VR Asylum.